Hey Emulation Warriors, a brand new challenger has entered the scene, Sumi Emulator, and no, this isn't just another yuzu fork with a fresh coat of paint. At first glance, it might seem like more of the same, but the developers have completely flipped the script. Sumi is receiving major updates and is quickly rising as the latest, most advanced, and most performant Nintendo Switch emulator out there. In a recent release, the devs introduced a custom Vulkan API upgrade, SPRV 1.6 base integration, and enhanced memory management all built from scratch. They're also working on temperature control, frame skipping, and better thread management, making Sumi one of the most promising emulators in development right now. So if you thought this was just another lame emulator, think again. Ignore it now, and you might just miss out on something truly game-changing. First, we'll install the emulator, apply the best settings, and run a few popular titles to test its stability and performance. The good news? Sumi is fully open source, with its entire code base available on GitHub, making it super easy to download. Just grab the latest APK from the repository, and you're good to go. After installation, launching Citroën for the first time presents a legal disclaimer, a clear acknowledgement of Nintendo's recent legal actions. Next, you'll be greeted by a welcome screen where you need to click Get Started and grant the necessary permissions. Next, the emulator will prompt you to enter your production ID or product keys, which are essential for running any games. Unfortunately, due to YouTube's community guidelines, I can't provide direct links to these keys. Once you've added the keys, install firmware and select the firmware file from your file manager. Adding the latest firmware improves game compatibility, helps with performance and stability, and reduces graphical and AA bugs, but this step is optional. Locate your games folder through the emulator. The emulator supports both XCI and NSP formats right out of the box. Disclaimer, the emulator itself is legal, but using illegal ROMs is forbidden. I do not support or provide access to pirated games, so please use legal copies for your safety. After this, grant access to the folder by tapping Use this folder and perform a deep scan to finalize the setup. Within a few seconds, your games will be displayed. Once your games are ready, it's time to configure the emulator for the best possible performance. Click on the gear icon in the bottom right corner and select Advanced Settings. In the System tab, turn off the Limit Speed option to fully utilize your device's resources. Keep Docked Mode disabled as it can strain low-end devices. If your device is highly configured, you can use it to increase the resolution. In the Graphics tab, always keep the accuracy level set to Normal. Use your device's native resolution or lower it to 0.5x for smoother gameplay. Set the aspect ratio to stretch to window for better compatibility. In the debug tab, set CPU accuracy to normal while leaving other options at their default settings unless you are confident that your device can handle changes. To further enhance performance, you can install custom GPU drivers if your device supports it. This feature is only available for Snapdragon processors, so if you see the option, install the driver corresponding to your device's GPU. And that wraps up our first look at the Sumi emulator. It's clear that Sumi is off to a strong start, but let's be honest. Sumi emulator feels very similar to Citroen. I think Sumi is promising, and the developers are actually listening to what's missing and what the community wants. Since Nushu has been shut down, we hope Sumi can fully take its place. It's still early days. It still needs time, more updates, and a lot of community feedback to truly compete with the big names. And before you go, don't miss my other videos on Kenji NX Android, which is Ryujinx Fork and Eden Emulator, two other exciting projects that are pushing the boundaries in totally different ways. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay curious, stay patient, and keep gaming.